Psalm 121 I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Psalm 37 Do not fret because of those who are evil. Or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Like green plants, they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him and He will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret it leads only to evil, for those who are evil will be destroyed. But those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. A little while, and the wicked will be no more. Though you look for them, they will not be found. But the meek will inherit the land. And enjoy peace and prosperity. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash their teeth at them. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he knows their day is coming. The wicked draw the sword and bend the bow to bring down the poor and needy, to slay those whose ways are upright but their swords will pierce their own hearts, and their bows will be broken. Better the little that the righteous have than the wealth of many wicked. For the power of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The blameless spend their days under the Lord's care, and their inheritance will endure forever. In times of disaster they will not wither. In days of famine they will enjoy plenty, but the wicked will perish. Though the Lord's enemies are like the flowers of the field, they will be consumed, they will go up in smoke. 
the wicked borrow and do not repay, but the righteous give generously. Those the Lord blesses will inherit the land, but those he curses will be destroyed. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall. For the Lord upholds him with his hand. I was young and now I am old. Yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. They are always generous and lend freely. Their children will be a blessing. Turn from evil and do good. Then you will dwell in the land forever. For the Lord loves the just and will not forsake his faithful ones. Wrongdoers will be completely destroyed. The offspring of the wicked will perish. The righteous will inherit the land and dwell in it forever. The mouths of the righteous utter wisdom and their tongues speak what is just. The law of their God is in their hearts. Their feet do not slip. The wicked lie in wait for the righteous, intent on putting them to death. But the Lord will not leave them in the power of the wicked or let them be condemned when brought to trial. Hope in the Lord, and keep his way. He will exalt you to inherit the land. When the wicked are destroyed, you will see it. I have seen a wicked and ruthless man flourishing like a luxuriant native tree. But he soon passed away and was no more. Though I looked for him, he could not be found. Consider the blameless, observe the upright. A future awaits those who seek peace. But all sinners will be destroyed. There will be no future for the wicked. The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in time of trouble. The Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in Him. Psalm 35 Contend, Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take up shield and armor. Arise and come to my aid. Brandish spear and javelin. Against those who pursue me. Say to me, I am your salvation. May those who seek my life be disgraced and put to shame. May those who plot my ruin be turned back in dismay. May they be like chaff before the wind with the angel of the Lord driving them away. May their path be dark and slippery, with the angel of the Lord pursuing them, since they hid their net from me without cause. 
and without cause dug a pit for me, may ruin overtake them by surprise. May the net they hid entangle them. May they fall into the pit to their ruin. Then my soul will rejoice in the Lord and delight in His salvation. My whole being will exclaim, Who is like you, Lord? You rescue the poor from those too strong for them, the poor and needy from those who rob them. Ruthless witnesses come forward. They question me on things I know nothing about. They repay me evil for good and leave me like one bereaved. Yet when they were ill, I put on sackcloth and humbled myself with fasting. When my prayers returned to me unanswered, I went about mourning, as though for my friend or brother. I bowed my head in grief, as though weeping for my mother. But when I stumbled, they gathered in glee. Assailants gathered against me without my knowledge. They slandered me without ceasing. Like the ungodly they maliciously mocked. They gnashed their teeth at me. How long, Lord, will you look on? Rescue me from their ravages my precious life from these lions. I will give you thanks in the great assembly. Among the throngs I will praise you. Do not let those gloat over me, who are my enemies without cause. Do not let those who hate me without reason maliciously wink the eye. They do not speak peaceably, but devise false accusations against those who live quietly in the land. They sneer at me and say, Aha! Aha! With our own eyes we have seen it. Lord, you have seen this. Do not be silent. Do not be far from me, Lord. Awake and rise to my defense. Contend for me, my God and Lord. Vindicate me in your righteousness, Lord my God. Do not let them gloat over me. Do not let them think, aha, just what we wanted. Or say, we have swallowed him up. May all who gloat over my distress be put to shame and confusion. May all who exalt themselves over me be clothed with shame and disgrace. May those who delight in my vindication shout for joy and gladness. May they always say, The Lord be exalted, who delights in the well-being of his servant. My tongue will proclaim your righteousness, your praises all day long. Psalm 27 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? 
when the wicked advance against me to devour me. It is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. For in the day of trouble He will keep me safe in His dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of His sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord, be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Nine, do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path. Because of my oppressors, do not turn me over to the desire of my foes. For false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart, and wait for the Lord. Psalm 18 I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. My shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I called to the Lord, who is worthy of praise. And I have been saved from my enemies. The cords of death entangled me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of the grave coiled around me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. The earth trembled and quaked, and the foundations of the mountains shook. They trembled because he was angry. Smoke rose from his nostrils. Consuming fire came from his mouth. 
burning coals blazed out of it. He parted the heavens and came down. Dark clouds were under his feet. He mounted the cherubim and flew. He soared on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his covering, his canopy around him. The dark rain clouds of the sky. Out of the brightness of his presence clouds advanced. With hailstones and bolts of lightning, the Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High resounded. He shot his arrows and scattered the enemy. With great bolts of lightning he routed them. The valleys of the sea were exposed and the foundations of the earth laid bare. At your rebuke, Lord, at the blast of breath from your nostrils, he reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemy from my foes who were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster. But the Lord was my support. He brought me out into a spacious place. He rescued me because He delighted in me. The Lord has dealt with me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands, he has rewarded me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord. I am not guilty of turning from my God. All his laws are before me. I have not turned away from his decrees. I have been blameless before him and have kept myself from sin. The Lord has rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in His sight. To the faithful you show yourself faithful, to the blameless you show yourself blameless, to the pure you show yourself pure. But to the devious you show yourself shrewd. You save the humble. But bring low those whose eyes are haughty. You, Lord, keep my lamp burning. My God turns my darkness into light. With your help I can advance against a troop. With my God I can scale a wall. As for God, His way is perfect. The Lord's word is flawless. He shields all who take refuge in Him. For who is God besides the Lord? And who is the rock except our God? It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He causes me to stand on the heights. He trains my hands for battle. My arms can bend a bow of bronze. You make your saving help my shield. And your right hand sustains me. Your help has made me great. You provide a broad path for my feet. So that my ankles do not give way. I pursued my enemies and overtook them. 
I did not turn back till they were destroyed. I crushed them so that they could not rise. They fell beneath my feet. You armed me with strength for battle. You humbled my adversaries before me. You made my enemies turn their backs in flight. And I destroyed my foes. They cried for help, but there was no one to save them. To the Lord, but he did not answer. I beat them as fine as wind-blown dust. I trampled them like mud in the streets. You have delivered me from the attacks of the people. You have made me the head of nations. People I did not know now serve me. Foreigners cower before me. As soon as they hear of me, they obey me. They all lose heart. They come trembling from their strongholds. The Lord lives. Praise be to my rock. Exalted be God my Savior. He is the God who avenges me, who subdues nations under me, who saves me from my enemies. You exalted me above my foes. From a violent man you rescued me. Therefore I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing the praises of your name. He gives his king great victories. He shows unfailing love to his anointed. To David and to his descendants forever. Psalm 131 My heart is not proud, Lord. My eyes are not haughty. I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me. But I have calmed and quieted myself. I am like a weaned child with its mother. Like a weaned child I am content. Israel, put your hope in the Lord, both now and forevermore.